Hey guys, Logues the Mark here to give you a couple helpful tips on WrestleMania access in Orlando, Florida. But before I start, spare me any comments on how WrestleCon is better than access. I get it, you like former stars. But the majority of fans come to WrestleMania for WrestleMania festivities. WrestleCon charges just as much, if not more, than the WWE when it comes to their event. So if you want to check out WrestleCon, just do it! But please, do not put to shame on others who might want to check out WrestleMania Access and the WWE sponsored activities. First thing I want to cover is your ticket tiers. As it stands right now, all VIP and premium VIP tickets are sold out. There are still plenty available at astronomical prices on third party vendors, but as usual, buy them at your own risk. For the lucky few who scored them and have never held them before, congratulations. What does your ticket get you though, you may ask? Firstly, it does include everything the GA ticket gets you. Therefore, you do not have to purchase an additional GA ticket to supplement your VIP or premium VIP ticket. It is already taken care of with that ticket. Secondly, according to WWE.com, your VIP tickets will include the following. Autograph and professional photo with a VIP WWE superstar. Exclusive VIP line at the event entrance. An 8x10 glossy photo of the appearing superstar. And your premium VIP tickets include autograph and professional photo with a premium VIP WWE superstar, exclusive VIP line at the event entrance, 8x10 glossy photo of the appearing superstar. As you can tell, there is no difference between the two tickets other than the superstars attached to that ticket. Which brings me to my next point. Your superstar on your ticket is the only VIP or premium VIP superstar that you will have access to. You still have access to try and get GA Superstar autographs, but no other VIP or premium VIP Superstar is included in your ticket. I cannot stress this enough. I see it every year where someone takes the VIP thing a little too far and tries to get something more. It won't work, trust me. Another big perk to your premium VIP and VIP tickets is early entry to access. You can feel like a king as the gates open only for your line as all the GA peasants shoot you a dirty look. I'm only kidding. But really, you get in before a lot of other people, so you may be able to hop in line for a quick GA signing before heading off to your guaranteed autograph you get with your ticket. Now let's move on to GA tickets. According to WWE.com, these will include autographs and photos with WWE superstars and legends, and you'll enjoy viewing matches, Q&As, and contests in the main ring. Now beyond all that, there are several vendors and exhibits to take in while walking around. In the past, there have been superstar entrances, foam pit rings, samples of different products, photo ops, and my personal favorite, the WWE memorabilia section. Another great place to hang out is ringside. Yes, they have a real ring there where several things take place. They can range from NXT matches, Q&As, contests, and just all around fun. If you've never been ringside to an event before, this is the perfect opportunity to try and get as close as possible when the gates open for access. Finally, attached to access is the WWE Superstore. You can go in and out of there with your access ticket. In the Superstore, there's hundreds, maybe thousands of pieces of merchandise available for purchase. There's t-shirts, replica slammies, programs, and anything you could possibly imagine. It is up for sale. So bring extra cash. You will want to buy something. It's almost impossible not to. Another cool thing about the WWE Superstore is that for the last few years, there have been signings inside there as well. They are free and you don't need an access ticket to go to those signings. However, they are also limited to the first few hundred fans. So if you see a signing happening, make sure you get there early to guarantee your wristband. Another question I hear asked quite a bit is whether or not one access session is good enough. In my personal opinion, I tend to think at least two should do the trick. You can reserve time to experience the exhibits and live action for one session, and then reserve another session for autographs. One is okay, but again, there is a lot of things to see and do, so at least two is always my recommendation if you want to get the full access experience. So what is up with these sessions? If I have a 1pm session, does that mean I can get into the 6pm session too? Is my GA ticket good for the whole day? Short answer, no. At the conclusion of your sessions, officials will clear the exhibition hall and reset for the next session. You will have to have a ticket for the next session to get to the next session. 
And this brings me to my final point. Buy your tickets in advance. General admission does not mean unlimited capacity. I have seen for several years at least one session be sold out, and that is generally on a Friday or Saturday session. Granted, there is still plenty to do in a destination like Orlando. However, I do not want to see you get locked out on something that I believe to be essential to your WrestleMania experience. And that brings me to the end of this video. I do hope I was able to answer some of your questions regarding WrestleMania access, and if you have additional ones, please do not hesitate to ask them below. Finally, make sure you hit that subscribe button, as I will be releasing a few other videos leading up to WrestleMania, and also will be doing a daily vlog during WrestleMania week with a few special guests. I look forward to seeing you all in a few weeks in sunny Orlando. Thanks for watching.